Hello all, welcome back to my channel Mission Critical. I hope you guys are doing absolutely fine. Today we are going to cover a very important yet unspoken topic. Let's say you have completed your entire project and you have done it in an amazing way and it's time for production. Let's say you have to upload that same specific code into hundreds and thousands of microcontrollers and let's say you have completed this entire project in Arduino IDE. Now how do you export the binary files? How do you export the partition table, the bootloader, the spiffs data and everything? Well, you don't have to worry about that anymore. I have brought a very amazing solution for that specific problem. We are going to cover this specific video for ESP32 microcontrollers, but the method remains same for any microcontroller that you use. So let's jump into the computer and start our video. For this tutorial, we will need Arduino IDE, Flash tool and the firmware which we need to burn on our ESP32 board. On the hardware part, we need the ESP32 hardware which we are planning to burn the code into. Step 1. Prepare the Arduino IDE. Before starting to burn the code, we need an example code for which I am using a simple SPIFFS reading code which will read and spit out the file content on the serial monitor. Now that we have a code that we can burn on our ESP32 board, let's go to our Arduino IDE's preference and select the upload option at show verbose output. Now we are all set. Step 2. Upload the data for your SPIFFS. This step is only required if you are using a SPIFFS in your code if not, you can skip this step to the next one using the timestamps. To upload the data content of your sketch, which in my case is a simple text file, we will use the ESP32 sketch data uploader tool. If you don't already have this tool, head over to the link in description where you can download this tool. Simply extract and copy the ESP32FS folder. Open your Arduino IDE preferences and head over to your sketchbook location. In this directory, go to the tools folder and paste the ESP32FS folder which we had copied before. Now all you have to do is restart your Arduino IDE. After restarting your Arduino IDE, you shall be able to see the ESP32 Sketch Data Uploader option under the Tools menu. Now, create a folder named Data in the directory where you have saved the Arduino code and paste all the data required to be uploaded in the ESP32 board in this specific data folder. Now, let's upload this data into ESP32 using the ESP32 sketch data uploader option which we saw earlier. This tool has created a binary file for the data that we have stored in the data folder as seen in the command window of the Arduino IDE. If we scroll a little further, it says writing at 0x0029000. This 0x29000 is the memory offset for our 4MB SPIFFS data which has to be written on the flash memory of ESP32 chip. Create a notepad and copy this address along with the directory of spiffs bin file. Step 3. Upload the code to your ESP32 board using the upload button. Upload the sketch into your ESP32 chip with all the settings as seen on the screen, except for your COM port. You can check your COM port in your device manager under the ports tab. Once uploading is done, scroll up the command window and you will see one line containing all the configuration settings, directories of bootloader, partition table, configuration bin file and all of the addresses offsets. Copy this entire line in notepad, we will need this directories and offset address in our next step. 
Step 4. Flashing your ESP32 board using Flash tool. First, download the Flash tool by Espressif. You can do it by clicking on the link in the description or by googling the ESP32 Flash tool. Once downloaded, open it and a pop-up shall appear in which you have to select ESP32 as your chip type and factory as develop option. Next, unlock the settings by deselecting the lock settings option. Let's connect the hardware which has to be programmed to our computer. For this example, I am using two ESP32 boards, one of which is connected to COM port 3 and another one is connected to COM port 7. I will select COM port 3 on the download panel 1 and COM port 7 on download panel 2. Copy and paste the directory and address offset from the notepad from the previous step. Click on start all and 5 binary files shall be written on both the ESP32 chips. This can be confirmed when you open the serial monitor. It shall show the file and the file contains. You can copy all this 5 bin files and save it separately and provide this bin files to production. Thus, you won't have to share your source code with anyone if you happen to outsource this production work. So guys, that's all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned a thing or two. If you guys like this video, give it a like, share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to Mission Critical. I will see you guys in the next video. Until that, goodbye.